माधव कुंज बिहारी जय जय राधा माधव कुंज बिहारी जय हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण 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 हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण ओ हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 
राम राम हरे 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 ओ हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 गोपाल श्री राधे जया राधा गोपाल राधा गोपाल श्री राधे जया कृष्ण बाल राम जया कृष्ण बाल राम कृष्ण बाल राम जय जय कृष्ण बाल राम ओ जाया गौरानी थाय गौरानी थाय गौरानी थाय जय जय गौरानी थाय ओ जाया जय प्रभुपाद 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 श्रीला प्रभुपाद जय जय हो जाया जाय गुरुदेव 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 श्रीला गुरुदेव ओ नीताय गौर हरि बोल हरि बोल हरि बोल गौरा हरि बोल ताय गौर हरि बोल हरि बोल हरि बोल गौरा हरि बोल ताय गौर नीताय गौर हरि बोल हरि बोल हरि बोल गौरा हरि बोल हरि बोल गौरा हरि बो श्री युग धर्म हरि नाम संकीर्तन यज्ञ की जय बृहदंगा ट्रांसरेंटल बुक डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन की श्री श्री राधा गोपाल जो की श्रीला प्रभुपाद की श्रीला गुरुदेव की नीताय गौर प्रेम नंदे नीताय गौर प्रेम नंदे नीताय गौर प्रेम नंदे ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम अज्ञानतिरांध से ज्ञानंजनाशलाखया चक्षुरोन्मील तस्म श्रीगुरव नम श्रीचैतनोष्ट स्थापित भूतले स्वयं रूपा कदा मह्यम ददाति स्वदातिक वंदेह श्रीगुर श्रीयुता पद कमलम 
श्री गुरुन वैष्णवा श्री रूपम सागर जाता सहगन रघुनाथन्वित तम सजीव साइत सवधूत परिजना सहित कृष्ण चैतन्य देव श्री राधा कृष्ण पाद सहगर ललिता श्री विशाखान्विता हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधु दीन बंधो जगतपते गोपेश गोपिका कांत राधा कांत नमोस्तुते तप्त कांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदवनेश्वरी वृषभानुस्तुते दे वंशकलपतरोभ्य कृपा सिंधुभ्य पतिता पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम नमो विष्णुपदा कृष्ण पृष्ठा भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदात स्वामेना नमस्ते सरस्वती देव गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चात्य देश जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभो निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्रीवास ऑल टुगेदर लाउडली हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 गुरवे गौरचंद्राय राधिकाये दाल कृष्णाय कृष्ण भक्ताय तद्भक्ताय नमो नम आनंदलीलामय विग्रहाय हेमाव दिव्य छविसुंदराय तस्म महाप्रेम रस प्रदा चैतन्य चंद्राय नमो नमस्ते चैतन्य चंद्राय नमो नमस्ते चैतन्य चंद्राय नमो नमस्ते निनंदम अहम नौमे सर्वानंद करम परम हरिनाम प्रदम देव अवधूत शिरोमणि श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु की श्री नित्यानंद राम की वॉइस सेंटर की Hare Krishna. Very happy and very honored to be here. I mean, so many youths. Normally, in all our programs, we find uh, sitting ahead are all the adults, and youth are somewhere there behind. Most places, uh, but this is so pleasing to see. It's it's so pleasing for the eyes that everywhere I just see youth. Mm. Everyone in the age. gap of 18 to 20 21 to 22 so thank you so much for coming on a monday morning to hear and chant from the pages of the scriptures we see today's in fact for devotees every day is auspicious <clears throat> as prabhupad would say in the spiritual world every step is a dance every word is a song every day is a festival and we find in iskon actually every day is a festival mm. every single day is a festival mm. even if there is no festival devotees still make it a festival by making elaborate feast prasadam 
So we make sure whether it's festival or not, prasadam should be tip top. And today is Dwadashi. We are all waiting. <laughs> Prabhuji class jaldi khatam ki je fast break karna hai. So we are all more than Ekadashi, devotees wait for Dwadashi. Right? We wait for Dwadashi. How fast breaking hoga? I am also there in the list, don't worry. So all youth are in the same boat. So we find that on the day of Dwadashi, we are honored to celebrate the disappearance of Rupa Goswami. We are celebrating the disappearance of two personalities. One is Srila Rupa Goswami and one is Srila Gauri Das Pandit. So it's about 6.50. We go till 7.15? 7.30? Do we have to go to college after this? 10 o'clock. Only one. Bunk ho jayega na? <laughs> that smile says it all. Oh, one more. Bunk? <laughs> we'll go till about 7.20, 7.30. Go to maybe about 7.20 and if there are any questions, we can take at the end. Srila Rupa Goswami is such a personality. We can span days and months and years and lifetimes talking about him. So you can imagine how difficult it is for me to comprise his life in 30 minutes. Big challenge. But we will just take some essential points that Srila Rupa Goswami has given. One time our Srila Rupa Goswami <clears throat> was traveling to Jagannath Puri to meet Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And as he was going to meet Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he was in one of the villages and Rupa Goswami always had this desire to write about Krishna. Krishna and Brindavan, Krishna and Mathura, Krishna and Dwaraka. And he had thought to himself that I will comprise one book that will, com that will have everything. Krishna of Brindavan, Krishna of Mathura and Krishna of Dwaraka. Sab ek book mein. But while he was going to meet Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, it was almost as if Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gave inspiration in his heart through two ways. First, he got a dream. And in that dream, Rukmini Devi came to Rupa Goswami and said, My dear Rupa, you're writing this book that is great, but my desire and my instruction for you is separated. Krishna Vrindavan should be one book, remaining everything else separate book. Don't mix both of them. So Rupa Goswami said, Okay. But when he got up in the morning, he thought, is it really Rukmini telling or is it my hallucination? Apne man ki, vehem. Hota hai na kabhi kabhi? If we are throughout the day, if we are there in a surrounding, the same thing, vahi dream, vahi sapna rat ko aata hai. Aur fir lagta hai, ye shayad sapna hoga nahi kyunki in vyaktiyon ke saath mene sang kiya, uske le aya hoga. It's not because it's a dream. So Rupa Gosmohi thought, maybe it is like that. Maybe because I'm going through this village and that village happened to be the birthplace of Rukmini. So I am thinking about Rukmini, maybe it's not real. So he thought, let me go back to my original plan. One book. He went to my Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in Jagannath Puri. Mahaprabhu sees Rupa Goswami and says, my dear Rupa, I have a desire. Rupa Goswami says, my dear Lord, whatever you say, I will do. Mahaprabhu says, two separate books. <laughs> Rupa Goswami says, huh? how did you know? Kya kare? Bhagavan hai na, Paramatma hai. He understands. Rupa Goswami says, My dear Lord, whatever you say, I will do. So he comprised two separate books. Paramatma in the heart understood his, his conflict of ideas, conflict of interest, conflict of desire. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu inspired him from the heart. And then he wrote two separate books called as Vidhagda Madhava and Lalita Madhava. What are the two books? Vidakta Madhava and Lalit Madhava. Lalit Madhava talks about Krishna and Dwaraka. Vidakta Madhava talks about Krishna and Vrindavan. Now, how do you remember? Sometimes there is a question about both of them. Madhava and Madhava. How do you remember? Vidakta V speaks about V, Vrindavan Krishna. Vidakta Madhava speaks about Vrindavan Krishna. Lalit Madhava talks about Krishna and Dwaraka. So, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in their heart inspired him. Uh, one time Srila Radhanath Swami Maharaj, this is just before COVID. 
so he was in mumbai airport and he was going to chicago marat is from chicago right so he was going to chicago and devotees told him that maharaj don't go it's not safe everywhere there's lockdown there's quarantine flights are being logged like it's not safe to go maharaj said no no i have to go they said no maharaj it's not safe maharaj said no i have to go abhi thani liye to kya kare he shri guru bole theek hai so devotees went to drop shri dama prabhu and his wife kishori mata ji they went to drop and they went to the airport and while they were there in the airport maharaj was just about to go inside the airport t2 international mumbai airport and mata ji gave one tablet to maharaj and said maharaj this is for covid just in the flight because no one will be there in the flight with you and you will land in chicago alone so kuch nothing bad should happen that's why we are giving you this tablet you can take it so maharaj said give me one more so mata ji said no no maharaj only one recommendation is only one maharaj said no give me one more he said she said no maharaj we are doctor prescription is, is only one maharaj said two just like rupa goswami wanted to write one book mahaprabhu said two likewise here doctor is giving one medicine maharaj is saying two so then said abhi kya kare first of all mara we are telling maharaj to not go that maharaj is saying he wants to go now we are saying one tablet he is saying two tablets ab kya kare to bole do tablet diye and then maharaj took it and they were thinking no he is already 70 it's not safe he is going like on 24 hour flight journey to america it's not safe maharaj reached chicago and then they called maharaj to ask whether he has reached safely maharaj said yeah everything is okay and then they said that maharaj how did you know so they say maharaj said what they said maharaj how did you know two tablets so maharaj said i didn't follow what, what are you talking about they said maharaj after you left the airport we checked american guidelines for medicines and only yesterday they changed the prescription to two tablets maharaj how did you know we are doctor maharaj said don't forget there is a doctor sitting in my heart there is paramatma there is doctor sitting in my heart he told me not one two so i just followed the doctor bole wa this is shri guru krishna inspires there so many such instances so let us not think that maybe for rupa goswami krishna instructed mahaprabhu instructed apne zamane mein kaha hoga kaha bhagwan prayag aur varanasi aake hriday mein sab bolenge main nahi hoga are bilkul hoga kyu nahi hoga it will happen if it's not possible prabhupad will not travel to america and at the age of 70 start a movement if it's not feasible if it's not practical you just imagine why will a 70 year old undertake two heart attacks go on a cargo ship when in 2015 they were celebrating 50 years of iskon 2016 they were celebrating 50 years of iskon all of prabhupad disciples came to boston because that's where prabhupad landed commonwealth pier and all of them got on a boat and about 6 hours they were all there on the boat remembering the glories of prabhupad because prabhupad came on a boat so they were all there and different disciples were speaking about prabhupad and their mother malati she said prabhupad disciple she said it's only 35 minutes that we are there in the boat and i am already feeling dizzy I cannot imagine how my spiritual master at the age of 70 traveled for 35 days non-stop. It's not easy. It's very easy to sit on a flight and come. It's very difficult to sit on a cargo ship. It was not Titanic. It was not RMS Titanic. Ki ekdam suvidha vividha hai AC AC. It's a it's not even meant for passengers. It's a junkyard. It's a cargo ship. and prabhupa just had this much space to sit usme he would sit this way and there he got two heart attacks and then he writes to prabhu then he writes to krishna just like we write whatsapp messages to someone prabhupa is writing to krishna he saying my dear lord if you want to spread your message you keep me alive aapke upar hai aapka naam yadi prachar hona hai then rakho mujhe it's almost like blackmail dhamki <laughs> If you want your message to be spread, keep me alive. Blackmail to Krishna. 
And indeed, Krishna is a black male. Black male. Black male to Krishna. So Krishna kept him alive. And even after going to America, we find he got another third heart attack, 1967. So there, when he gets a third heart attack, this is Memorial Day 1967, May of 1967. Memorial Day in America is a long day weekend. That's when the Sadhu Sangha Kirtan event happens in America. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Prabhupada 1967 gets a third heart attack. Brahmananda Prabhu calls the doctor. Kya kare pata nahi. There Brahmananda Prabhu is just 20. CPR, VPR to aata nahi. Prabhupada is 70 plus. They call the doctor. The doctor comes and sees Prabhupada. And then he comes out and tells Brahmananda Prabhu. The Swami needs to walk. The Swami is not walking. He is just sitting at one place and writing. The Swami needs to walk. If he doesn't walk, this will be fatal. Brahmananda Prabhu says, okay. But how to tell Prabhupada? His Guru there. Prabhupada from inside hears. Prabhupada says, oh. If I have to walk to keep my body and soul alive, to spread Krishna's moment, I will do it. That is when the morning walks of Prabhupada started, 1967. Prabhupada is such a personality who could take good from anyone. This is devotee. Not that we have head weight ki ke nahi sunenge. Are mujhe sab pata hai. Ye kaun hai mujhe sikhane wala. We are all repeating the words of our Sampradaya. We are all repeating the words of our Acharyas. He, even though was way senior in age, was way senior in Krishna consciousness to all of them, he still took advice and started his morning walks. So the point I'm trying to make is whatever good you get from anyone, take it. Be like a honeybee. Wherever there is nectar, wherever there's honey, jump, grab. Don't be sectarian. Wherever you get honey, just grab it. So here Rupa Goswami, with that mood, takes the essence from the heart of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and writes two separate books that are Vidagda Madhava and Lalit Madhava. Lalit Madhava talks about Krishna and Vrindavan, correct? No, Vrindavan. Vrindavan, Prabhuji. Dwaraka? And Vidagda Madhava talks about? Ha, yes. Easy way of remembering. We, we. So here we find there's a beautiful mention that comes when Radharani comes to a place called as Siddhasharam. What's the name? <clears throat> there our Acharyas explain that Radharani came after a very long time to meet Krishna. It's almost after 100 years of separation. So when Srimati Radharani came there to meet Krishna, Radharani spoke to Krishna and Krishna also spoke to Srimati Radharani. And there were cheers and cheers of love that were flowing from the eyes of Radharani and Krishna because after years and years of separation they have met each other. We have always heard, heard about Radha and Krishna in Vrindavan. Uske baad kya hua? So it is explained when both of them met, when Radharani and Krishna both of them met. When both of them met, after speaking with each other, Radharani went back to her kunja or her home or her kutir whatever and then krishna also went back to his place krishna was staying with rukmini at that time and rukmini looked at krishna and it was night time and rukmini said don't you have to go to sleep krishna said i am not getting sleep our problem is different we always get sleep even in class we get sleep chanting we get maximum sleep here Krishna is saying, Neend nahi aari hai. It is difficult for us to imagine. Neend nahi aari hai. How can you not get sleep? It's almost like aparad. How can you not get sleep? Krishna is saying, I am not getting sleep. Rukmini said, Kya hua? Why are you not getting sleep? Krishna says, I am not getting sleep because Radharani is not getting sleep. Now Rukmini is scratching her head. Ye kya logic hai? It's like saying, My friend is in this room. Another... I am here and my friend is in that room. I am not getting sleep because he is not getting sleep. Are kya connection? Wo to alag room mein. What's the connection? Rukmini is thinking, what's the connection? Well, you're not getting sleep. You're saying Radharani is not getting sleep. Okay, let's make it simple. Why is Radharani not getting sleep? He says, Radharani is not getting sleep because I am not getting sleep. <laughs> Are kya chal 
बहुत डूइंग स्लीप स्लीप इधर इसको स्लीप नहीं आ रहा उसको वो स्लीप नहीं आ रहा रुकुमिनी से इज एक्सप्लेन टू मी इन माई लैंग्वेज वाई बोथ ऑफ यूल आर नॉट गेटिंग स्लीप इतना स्लीप स्लीप हो गया आई फील बाई द एंड ऑफ द क्लास वन पर्सन इज गोइंग टू स्लीप प्रभु जी इतना नींद का बोले लग गया प्रभु जी माफ कर दो सो देन कृष्णा से माई डियर रुक्मिनी Radharani is not getting sleep and by the way Rupa Goswami is explaining all this he says Radharani is not getting sleep because Radharani at night time has a habit Rukmini says what is the habit he says Radharani at night time has a habit of drinking hot milk but now that she is away from her home she is here in Siddhashram she is not getting hot milk and because old habits die hard she has not got hot milk she is not getting sleep because she is not getting sleep i am not getting sleep so rukmini says oh that's it big deal i mean i can go and get her milk krishna says please do rukmini goes and gets gives radharani a glass of hot milk and then she comes back and now that she comes back krishna is resting not sleeping but krishna is just resting and she comes and starts massaging the feet of krishna and as she touches the feet of krishna she sees underneath the, the foot the sole that means not this sole this sole krishna is having blisters krishna is having blisters so rukmini says what happened you were perfectly fine how is it that you are having blisters now krishna says my dear rukmini it is very good that you went to give milk but the milk that you gave to shrimati radharani was very 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 hot Radharani, out of her compassion, did not say anything, and she just sipped. But that milk was so hot that that hot milk went inside and gave pain to her heart. And because she always has my lotus feet in in her heart, that hot milk went and touched her heart. And because of that hot milk, I got blisters. Rukmini says, "Hare Krishna." <laughs> if not for our acharyas who will explain all this to us this is why prabhupad would say at night time hot milk krishna book krishna book remind you of krishna and hot milk is a quality of shrimati radharani hot milk krishna book but whatever prabhupad has designed its master plan full proof full proof of course if someone is lactose intolerant or milk intolerant or whatever that's a different thing but if we can have it prabhupada would say hot milk krishna book krishna book reminds you of krishna and milk is a quality of shrimati radharani so getting radha and krishna at night time before going to take rest how wonderful of course prabhupada in the initial days cannot explain all this because they are newcomers they are hippies and prabhupad went to america he said preaching in america was very easy so one disciple asked how prabhupad said when i went to america everyone was already following sarva dharma and parityajya they were already hippies they were already living on the streets pehli sarva dharma and parityajya karke baithe the i just went and gave mam ekam sharanam braja shila prabhupad ki So, if not for Prabhupada, if not for Shri Rupa Goswami, who would have enlightened our hearts? <clears throat> But Rupa Goswami's greatest contribution is not just this. Shri Rupa Goswami came down to this world. Who is Rupa Goswami, by the way? In the spiritual world, who is Rupa Goswami? Rupa Manjari, yes. Shri Rupa Manjari comes down in this world as Shri Rupa Goswami. But between Rupa Manjari and Rupa Goswami, who is more merciful? Is it Rupa Manjari or is it Rupa Goswami? Rupa Goswami. How many for Rupa Goswami? Now all of you will raise your hands because today is disappearance day. How many for Rupa Manjari? Not even one. Like in India, there was a KBC show, an audience poll. The people who said it, we raise our hands. Everyone says Rupa Goswami is most merciful. More than Rupa Manjari? 
What's your say, Prabhu? Yes. This is correct. Rupa Goswami is more merciful than Srila Rupa Manjari. Why? Because Rupa Manjari is there with Radha and Krishna, performing her pastimes. But when that Rupa Manjari comes down to, to this world as Rupa Goswami, she comes as he to give the process by which we can also go back home, back to Godhead. As she, process is not given. But when that she comes as he, he is laying down the process in the form of Bhakti Rasamrata Sindhu. Upadesha Amrit, Ujjwal Nilamani, Pidagda Madhava, Lalit Madhava, Hamsa Dutta, Utkallika Vallari, and so many others. It is that Rupa Manjari who is so compassionate that that compassion is overflowing and now coming down to this world as Rupa Goswami. But what is the contribution of Rupa Goswami? One time when our Rupa Goswami, when Mahaprabhu was dancing in Rathyatra, I saw one photo here. Yes. When Mahaprabhu was there during Rathyatra, he was dancing for hours and hours and hours together. And as he was saying Jagannath, Mahaprabhu chant various verses from the Bhagavatam. Jayati Janani Vaso Devaki Janma Vado Yadu Vara Parishat Swaye Dor Virasya Nadharamam Stirachara Brijigdagna Susmita Shri Mukhena Vrajapura Vanita Nam Vardhayan Kama Devam Canto 10, Chapter 90, Text 48, the last verse of the 10th Canto of the Bhagavatam. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu would chant this. He would chant various other verses. And everyone would see Mahaprabhu very ecstatic that Mahaprabhu is dancing. Rupa Goswami from a distance would see Mahaprabhu. And Rupa Goswami kind of jumped into the heart of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and grabbed the essence of what Mahaprabhu is experiencing when he sees Jagannath. This question was asked to Srila Gauravinda Maharaj. Have you heard Gauravinda Maharaj? If you have not heard, highly recommended. If you want some hitting on your head, transcendental hitting, some pounding on your head, Srila Gaurakovinda Maharaj. Very powerful personality. Disciple of Srila Prabhupada, of course, not there with us now. Left this world in 1996. This question was asked to Srila Gaurakovinda Maharaj. Gaurakovinda Maharaj was there in Mayapur. On the day of Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur's appearance, 1996, one person came to his room, Gorgovinda Maharaj's room, and asked Gorgovinda Maharaj, Maharaj, what did Chaitanya Mahaprabhu feel in his heart when he saw Jagannath? Why was he dancing so ecstatically? What was the emotion? Why was he crying for so many hours? Why was he dancing? Why was he chanting the verses of the Braja Gopis? What was going on in the heart of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu when he saw Jagannath? Guru Govinda Maharaj started answering. Srila Guru Govinda Maharaj explained, Who is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Radharani in separation from Krishna. Who is Jagannath? He is Krishna in separation from Radharani. Who is Jagannath? He is Krishna in separation from Radharani because we know the story as to how Rohini Maya was narrating the story. Subhadra was standing outside and Krishna in separation from Radharani transforms as Jagannath. Correct? So who is Jagannath? Krishna in separation from Radharani. Who is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? Opposite. Radharani in separation from Krishna. Gurgavinda Maharaj explained, it was for the first time after so many years and years and years Radharani in separation from Krishna sees Krishna in separation from Radharani. And Gorgovinda Maharaj, in his very regal way, he would say, there was eye-to-eye -eye union, eye-to-eye -eye meeting, netra itself. He would say there, was, there would be a festival of eyes. It was as if for Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the whole world had stopped, and he would just see Jagannath, and Jagannath would just see Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And Gorgovinda Maharaj started explaining this way. He started explaining as to how Mahaprabhu ran towards Jagannath to embrace because now Radharani in separation from Krishna is seeing Krishna in separation from Radharani and Radharani wants to run to embrace Krishna. But there is so much ecstasy in the heart but by, by, by the time Srimati Radharani, that is Mahaprabhu, reaches Jagannath, Mahaprabhu falls down to the ground, unable to even go close to Jagannath. 
and then Sarvabhama Bhattacharya picks him up and takes him to the side. As Gaur Govinda Maharaj was explaining all this, he started choking. Hair started standing on end. Tears started flowing from his eyes. He started choking so much so that he couldn't continue. He couldn't continue. He said, Kirtan, Baba, Kirtan, Kirtan, Kirtan. I cannot continue. Kirtan. And he called for his deity, his family deity, Gopalji. From small age, he would worship Gopal. He was from a Vaishnava family. So now he was in Mayapur and they didn't have deity, so they brought photo. Sitting on the Vyasasan in Mayapur, speaking about Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in separation from Jagannath, on the appearance of Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, having the photo of Gopal in front of him, chanting the name of Gopal, Gaur Govinda Maharaj, like Bhishma Dev, left this world on his own will. Sitting on the Vyasasan, he left this world. Can you imagine? It doesn't happen often. Speaking about Krishna, crying, hair standing on end, photo in front of you, cry, chanting the name Kirtan, going around. And then when he wanted to leave, he left. Not that Yamaraj said, time ho gaya, aajau. For us, Yamaraj says, Bori Bistar bando, aajau. Time is up. Time to leave the voice center. <laughs> Not for Guru Govinda Maharaj. Guru Govinda Maharaj, like Bhishma Dev, just like Bhishma Dev had Ichamrityu. He could leave this world when he wanted to. Guru Govinda Maharaj left like that on his own sweet terms. So here we find when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu back, when Mahaprabhu is dancing like this, Rupa Goswami sees Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and starts writing something. And he writes, and he writes, and he writes, and he writes. Lik likke, lik likke, book ban gaya. But one of that was one of one special verse that he had written. He wrote that verse. He folded that into a page. <clears throat> and when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was there in Siddha Bakul. Why Siddha Bakul famous? Anyone? Ha! Haridas Thakur. Haridas Thakur would chant underneath Siddha Bakul. It's a Bakul tree. But because Haridas Thakur chanted there, it became Siddha. It became perfected. Haridas Thakur perfected even a tree. We find it difficult to perfect ourselves. He perfected even a tree. Jayananda Prabhu was like this. Jayananda Prabhu, when he had cancer in his last stages, he would go from tree to tree and sit down under trees and read Krishna book. Mera to uddhar ho jayega, inta uddhar kon karega? He would go in the streets of America, in Chicago, in California, in San Francisco, he would sit under trees. Trees ke under bed ke he would read Krishna book. Inka uddhar kon kare. Can you imagine the level of compassion? Hum kai bar swarti hote hai. Aradhana karni hai partha sarti ki hum swarti ban jate. Partha swarti bana dete unko. But look at the compassion of Jayananda Prabhu. Going and sitting under trees and reading Krishna book for them. So that they also get uplifted. So Rupa Goswami wrote a word seeing Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Shri Rupa Rudaye Prabhu Shakti Sancharila Sarva Tattva Nirupane Praveena Karila Krishna Tattva Bhakti Tattva Rasa Tattva Pranta Sava Shikhayana Prabhu Bhagavata Siddhanta Kaviraj Goswami explains that Mahaprabhu jumped inside the heart of Rupa Goswami. Shri Rupa Rudaye Prabhu Shakti Sancharila He infused the heart of Rupa Goswami with so much Shakti. Sarva Tattva Nirupane Praveena Karila he made him proficient in all tattvas. But what tattva? Please repeat. Krishna tattva. Krishna tattva. Bhakti tattva. Bhakti tattva. Rasa, tattva Rasa tattva pranta. Sabha shikhayana prabhu. Bhagavata siddhanta. He taught him three tattvas. What are the three tattvas? Krishna tattva. Bhakti tattva. Rasa tattva pranta. Tattva of Krishna. Tattva of Bhakti, Tattva of Rasa. Sava Shikhayana Prabhu. Oh, if these three are taught, Manlo Sapkuchi Zikariya. Bhagavata Siddhanta. This is the Siddhanta, essence of Bhagavat. What is the essence of Bhagavat? Krishna Tattva, Bhakti Tattva, Rasa Tattva. Rupa Goswami got everything in his heart. And now Rupa Goswami wrote a verse. He wrote the verse, he folded into a page. And when he went to Siddha Bakul, Mahaprabhu was sitting and Ramananda Rai on the one side, Swarup Damodar Goswami on one side, Haridas Thakur on one side, 
Paramanand Puri on one side, Kasheshwar Pandit on one side. All exalted devotees are there. And Rupa Goswami is thinking, how can I go in front of them? They are so exalted. How can I go? Look at the humility. Rupa Goswami is thinking twice to enter that assembly, thinking I'm not qualified. He is the most qualified. He is the fountain head of our Sampradaya. He is Rupa Manjari. Everyone in the spiritual world. Hare Krishna. This is almost like in the 10th canto we find there is Brahmar Geet, the section of the honeybee, where Radharani is constantly talking to the honeybee. Wherever Wherever Radharani looks, the honeybee was always there. And our Acharyas explained that honeybee was actually Shamasundar. Krishna left Vrindavan but came back as a black honeybee again to speak to the honeybee like honey face like Srimati Radharani. Of course, this is not a honeybee, but <laughs> we, we just take the essence. This is just a random fly, but Sahar Grahan Karle. So we find Rupa Goswami was thinking, should I enter? Should I not enter? Let me just stay outside. And he folded this and there was a thatched roof. Oh, thatched roof ke andar hi lete, taki koi dekhe na. As he did that, Swarup Damodar Goswami from a distance he saw. Ah, you may hide from everyone. You cannot hide from me. I saw you. And he go gets up. Grabs the hand of Rupa Goswami, picks up that paper, and goes to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Pol khulega to sabke samne. I will read and expose you in front of everyone. Transcendentally expose you. Let the whole world know how glorious you are, my dear Rupa. They open the page. They give it to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, No, no, Swarup Damodar, you read. Swarup Damodar says, no, it is Rupa Goswami's composition, you read. It's given now to Rupa Goswami. Rupa Goswami looks at the paper, looks at Mahaprabhu and says, Mani man padlu? Aap to paramatma, aapko to pata na mani man padle to. Rupa Goswami, he tries to say this to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu says, no. Loud and clear so that everyone can hear. It's almost rhyming. Loud and clear so that everyone can hear. I didn't, it was not planned, it was extempo. Anyway, so this was given to Rupa Goswami. And now Rupa Goswami very hesitantly looks at the verse and he starts reading. <clears throat> Please repeat. Anarpita charim chirat Karunaya avatirna kalau Samar Paitum Unnata Ujjwala Swabhakti Shriyam Hari Purata Sundara Dviti Kadamba Sandipitaha Sadar Daye Kandare Spuratu Vasa Chinandana this is Chaitanya Charitamrit, Adi Leela, Chapter 1, Text 4. The start, literally the start of Chaitanya Charitamrit. And this word is the heartbeat. It's the heartbeat of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. It's the heartbeat of Chaitanya Charitamrit. It's the heartbeat of Krishna consciousness. It's the heartbeat of all his contemples. It is the heartbeat of this voice center also. It is the essence of everything that we do. Rupa Goswami writes this. And then Mahaprabhu, we need translation. Mahaprabhu doesn't need translation. He understands. They all, everyone understands Sanskrit. So all of them understood. And all of them started clapping. Wow! My dear Rupa, how did you know this? We are all sitting with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. We didn't understand, but how did you? Mahaprabhu never told this to anyone. What did Rupa Goswami actually write? Rupa Goswami wrote, My dear Lord, Anarpita Charim Chirat, 
अर्पिता मीन्स टू गिव अर्पण करना हिंदी में अर्पण करना टू गिव जिसे बोलते हैं ना समर्पण अर्पण मीन्स टू गिव सम अर्पण टू कंप्लीटली गिव कीर्तन संकीर्तन सम कीर्तन विच बिकम संकीर्तन कीर्तन मीन्स ग्लोरिफिकेशन ऑफ द लॉर्ड फ्रॉम कीर्ति संकीर्तन कंप्लीट ग्लोरिफिकेशन ऑफ द लॉर्ड लाइक वाइज अनार्पितम अर्पित मीन्स टू गिव अनअर्पित something that was never given anarpita charim chirat for a very long time something was never given anarpita charim chirat karunaya avatirna kalo my dear lord you became compassionate and came down to this world to give something that was never given in the past never in the present and probably never in the future so what is it that chaitanya mahaprabhu gave two things first secondary reason is hari naam sankirtan this is secondary it's not that mahaprabhu came down to give hari naam sankirtan nityananda prabhu gave hari naam sankirtan right in every town and village in every marketplace it was our nitai who flooded the marketplace with the chanting of the holy name nadiya godru me nityananda mahajan नंद महाजान बोलो श्री नित्यानंद राम की नित्यानंद प्रभु के होली ने Prabhupad he also gave holy name so mahaprabhu doesn't have to come down to give holy name this is secondary eha by here but what is it that mahaprabhu is coming down to give samarpaitum unnata ujjwala rasa he is coming down to give ujjwal ras shringar ras madhuri ras he is coming down to give this mood of becoming the servant of shrimati radharani how to become the servant of shrimati radharani this was never given in the past never in the history was this given कैसे राधा रानी के दासी बने हाउ टू बिकम सर्वेंट ऑफ श्री राधा हाउ टू बिकम सर्वेंट ऑफ कृष्णा वॉज गिवन हाउ टू बिकम सर्वेंट ऑफ श्री राधा वॉज नेवर गिवन महाप्रभु केम डाउन टू गिव दिस बट नेवर स्पोक रूप गोस्वामी जम्स इन टू द हार्ट ऑफ चैतन्य महाप्रभु अंडरस्टैंड इट एंड राइट उपदेश अमृत राइट भक्ति रस अमृत सिंधु इवन दिस वर्स ऑफ द चैतन्य शिरता अमृत इट्स नॉट रिटन बाई कविराज गोस्वामी इफ यू सी प्रभु बट डजेंट राइट अ पर्पट टू दैट verse 4 5 6 there is no purport because actually they are not the verses of kaviraj goswami kaviraj goswami takes it from shila roop goswami and presents them look at the magnanimity of kaviraj goswami he doesn't think are mera pustak hai main kini aur ka verse kyu dalu he will get credit mera book hai mera hona chahiye copyright mera hona chahiye why should i give credit to him kaviraj goswami doesn't think all this He writes so many verses of Bilva Mangala Thakur and Chaitanya Charitamrita, so many verses of Rup Goswami, so many verses of Swarup Damodar Goswami. Kaviraj Goswami wants to give the essence to the world. O chahe mera ho ki ni aur kaho, ab bas saar grahan kijiye. But this was Rup Goswami's contribution, and Hari Nam Sankirtan is the means to attain the lotus feet of Radha and Radha and Krishna. Hmm? One is sadhya. Hmm? and one is sadhana we have one to get the other we have hari naam sankirtan to get the lotus feet of radha and krishna hari naam sankirtan is the means to attain the goal radha and krishna this was rupa goswami's prime contribution in fact we can speak so much about rupa goswami we can speak hours and hours and hours but in the interest of time 729 
we are stopping on time. Gaurapremanande, Hari Hari Bol. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna.